Hey guys, welcome to a uh, impromptu video here on the Fly with Trent channel. I was down at Sun and Fun. So I'm here with my friend Michael. Uh, I got an invite to come down and fly this NG6. So Lance and Summer, who are the owners of this aircraft. Hey guys, thanks very much for being fans of the channel. It's going to be fun to fly your airplane. So we're uh, this is powered by a Rotax. It's an experimental aircraft. So we're going to go and uh, do some flying around and have some fun. So let's go ahead and uh, crawl in and you can follow. So this looks pretty cool. We've got a stick control. We've got, uh, looks like some dine and glass avionics. Let's turn those on. And uh, this is powered by the same Rotax that I fly in my, uh, in my Remos light sport. So this should be a good fun aircraft to fly. So again, unfortunately we don't have the cables with us today to get good audio when we're actually flying the plane. So uh, this is probably, I'm not sure how much footage, we'll get some, we'll get some footage when we're up there and maybe I'll do a voiceover afterwards. But again, I wanna thank uh, Lance and Summer for letting me fly your airplane. So our startup procedure is that we press uh, the menu and um, you press the checklist where you have all your checklists, right? And then uh, you open the before starting any checklist, you set your flight plan. So um, we're going to go probably just straight up north, yeah, right? Good. Aux on. So if you can flip the aux switch, this is the fuel injected uh, Rotex 912 IS. Perfect. So if you can, if you can leave it on, yeah. If you can leave it on, please. Thank you. So yeah, that will be fine. Just let it, let it be like it is. So that actually powers right now the engine. Okay. So the fuse box is powered. The engine is powered, right? Yeah. Second item, lane A and B on. So we're going to be checking uh, that all the engine instruments are uh, on and showing us of course zero psi uh, on oil and fuel right because yeah. the engine is off but we want to make sure that everything is on um except the trim right and the battery because we don't have the master on yet yeah right so we are checking at this stage that the engine is in good shape okay fuel valve um let's uh fly on the left tank i just switched it about five minutes before arriving so from the right tank so we'll fly on the left tank now um and we have 25 gallons Right, and that's what the engine instruments are telling us. 13 gallons in both tanks, so left left one will fly it. Okay. Right. Fuel pressure. So we're gonna be looking at our fuel pressure. We're just gonna be right here, right? And we're gonna test our fuel pumps. So fuel pump one, fuel pressure is good. Fuel pump two, fuel pressure is good. All right, so that's good. Fuel pumps are both checked. Aux off. So now you can turn off the aux, please. Off. Thank you. Parachute check. So this is our ballistic parachute here, which is located right there. Shoots to the right. Yeah, and can bring our airplane down like a Cirrus. Um, pitot heat. Pitot heat is off. We don't need pitot heat today, I'm sure. Probably not. No, <laughs> not 80 degrees. Yeah. Fans on or off. So we do have fans on the oil cooler, right? Uh, correction, on the coolant cooler, right? right. Um, so we do turn them on in Florida, yeah. right? But yeah. uh, when you are up north, you don't need to turn them on. They are temperature, um, it, as the temperature increases, they will turn on automatically, okay. right? But we need to put the uh, fuses, fuses in, in yeah. yeah. Seat belts, how's your seat belt? It's good. Perfect. Controls, control check. Yep, oh, yeah. go ahead, you do it yourself. Perfect. And then on a tow wheel uh, nose steering, I usually do the rudders when I'm rolling, just because I don't want to burn tear rubber off the front tire. I like that approach. Absolutely, okay. that's a great idea. Perfect canopy check. So normally now we would close it, but I don't think it's a great idea in Florida. Yeah. We'll so <laughs> so we have one more check just before takeoff, where we have another canopy check. Okay. okay. So for now we know we are leaving it, leaving it uh, as it is. Okay. So that's before starting engine. Engine has a check mark. Engine sounds good. Okay. Now we go to engine start checklist. Okay. Did we take the? Oh yeah, we took the truck off. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, master on. So now you can flip the master, please. All right. Avionics on, please. All right. So that's good. Flight plan and radio set. So we're talking no flight plan. We're just gonna fly. I think three six zero, or maybe even maybe even eastbound zero nine zero. Get out of Bravo and uh, then do a little bit of maneuvers 
if we have time. If we mm -hmm. don't, we just go back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Alberto heading. So uh, sorry, actually, FPL and radio. So at this point, we usually listen to our eighties. So mm -hmm. KVDFA was. No. Okay. There we go. So two five is our altimeter right there. Winds were zero to zero, so we're gonna take runway five. If that's cool with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that runway is a bit longer than three six. Three six is technically a little bit better for winds, but they use five here. Mm -hmm. um, the runway is better at five, longer. Okay. So I suggest five if that's good with you. Yeah. yeah All right. Fine. So altitude uh, above us is twelve hundred Tampa. Well, kind of to the side. And then over here is 3,000, so I think we can go 2,500 on altitude. Yeah, right. Altitude is set, barrel 3025 set, heading runway 5, 050 heading. Yeah. Agreed? Agreed. Perfect. Out barrel heading set, lane A and B, we're just double checking that they're still on. Yep. Fuel pump 1 is on, strobe nav is on, throttle half an inch, something like that. I don't know if you do that on the road text like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Brakes set. So brakes are on top. Yeah. Perfect. Propeller clear and look. And if you're ready, I can go and start yeah, it. Yeah. Right ahead. All right. So let me make this smaller. Uh, you can use this as a safe taxi, like uh, yeah. Garmin's have, right? Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, um, so the procedure on this airplane is, well, obviously, shout clear first, right? Then engine switch. This is what's going to power the engine. It does the same thing. Uh, as the aux, pretty much powering the engine. That's how it works on the fuel injected version. Uh, so we hold it down and then hold the engine start button, right? Okay. And then once the engine starts, we're going to be checking for oil pressure right here. Yeah? Okay. So good to start? Yeah. All right. Clear! So that's the all pressure check, and our next checklist is going to be an end of takeoff or pre-takeoff, which is going to be an end of area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very sensitive, right? Yeah. <laughs> And that's it. Master as well, if you can, please. Master? Yep. Okay. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there you go. Still filming? Oh, yeah, yeah, still filming, yeah. All right, guys. So that was really, really fun to fly. This uh, plane is ridiculously easy to fly. A little bumpy today, but uh, here we are. You know, it's a pretty warm day in Florida, so bumpy is not a great big surprise. Uh, but definitely uh, a very fun plane to fly. We'll see you in another video soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>